Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we will discuss how to solve the projection of solids problem using Solid Edge software. And uh, today's session, we will discuss the problem number 42. The question is given like this: A cube of 40 mm side rests on HP on an edge which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Draw when the lateral square face containing the edge on which it rests makes an angle of 50 degree HP. Okay, so first we will as usual we will draw the uh, horizontal line that is the XY line and one end of the line we will write the capital X and other end we will write the capital Y and above XY line we will write the BP and below XY line we will write the HP. Okay, next uh, we need to check the what shape they give here we know the cube the cube 40 mm they give on the cube means here uh, the resting condition uh, here they give on on edge which is inclined to and that means it is resting on edge so we need to make the cube with the edge condition so we can get the cube easily uh, by using the rectangle option here go to the rectangle option and the width and height we have to give the same that is 40 enter and 40 enter for the edge condition 0 we have to enter the angle and for the corner condition 45 here they give an edge so we need to enter 0 and press enter so now directly we will get the a cube with the edge condition and this one we need to draw with the visible line as you know the profile should be uh, drawn with the visible line so make it visible and coming to the naming after finishing this we can do the naming and this point uh, a of a1 and here we can take it as uh, B of B1 and then here C of C1 and then here D of D1 and one more thing center we need to get it uh, by using normal line draw the diagonal lines so that intersection point we are getting the center and this one we can name it as O of O1 ok next to get the front view we need to draw the projection lines from all the corners to the xy including axis line here also we have to get and the height so do not mention height we know that cube means height also will be same so do not uh, worry about that so we need to take the same height of the side so here we need to go with 40 height we have to give 40 and switch on the alignment indicator it will be helps to be in the faster way we can finish the things in a faster way ok so like this we got the front view on the axis line so this is the axis line we have to draw it and next here also we can give the naming so uh, the bottom portion we know that is a base we can give the name a, a1 b1 c1 d1 and top will be a b c d that is a dash b dash c dash and here when come to this point here a1 and d1 is here so first we are getting a1 so that's why a1 dash in the bracket d1 dash and same way your bottom only center o1 dash and this point we can make it as c1 dash sorry sorry first uh, b is there so b1 dash in the bracket c1 dash like this and come to the top so a and d is there so that's why here it will be a dash in the bracket d dash and same way this will be o dash and the last b dash in the bracket c dash okay the first step is finished the first step they said it is resting on the edge so we made the edge condition and the height they give on 40 that that means cube it is the height also will be 40 you can show that height 40 and it is completed and coming to the next step second step i said the hp inclination we have to see even though it is evp coming at first in the question no don't need to worry about that so that vp inclination will be do it at the last first we have to check the second step is hp inclination what is inclined to hp the lateral uh, square face containing the resting edge here the resting edge is here so this edge is containing the lateral square face this is the lateral square face that is a b1 dash c1 dash c dash b dash this square face is coming here 
that face is inclined to HP 50 degree. So while rotating, we have to make this face inclined 50 degree. So we can use the option move, switch on the copy and hold the control, select all the edges and we need to pick it from B1 dash to C1 dash, pick it and we can place it here. Okay, that is the one step is finished and next rotating. So while rotating, switch off the copy, hold the control, select all the edges and now B dash, B, this is the resting condition, make it uh, fixed point and this uh, B dash C dash rotating point and make sure this face should be inclined 50 degrees. So give the position angle 50. Okay, got it. Now you can use the angle between option to check the angle 50. So whatever the condition they given, the square face, lateral square face is inclined to HP 50 degree, we did it. And then <coughs> move the respective namings. We can zoom this position so we can get the uh, clear view. Uh, this will be B dash of uh, C, B1 dash of C1 dash and here the B dash of C dash and this is O dash and this is uh, A dash of D dash and this one is A1 dash of D1 dash and this one is O1 dash. Okay. The second step inclination finished and the next one is we can easily draw the projection lines and identify all the corners and join it with the visible and hidden lines. Okay, We will go one by one. First we will check, take up the bottom face that is uh, A1 and D1. So A1 and D1 we are getting here on these two lines you can draw up to here. And this at this point we are getting A1 and if you extend this, this point will be uh, D1. <coughs> and same way here we will get uh, B1 and then here we will get C1 and the center so O1. You can name it because in the square the, the top face is overlapping other side so uh, better we can uh, name it first then we can go for next. So this is uh, D1 and this one is A1 and this one is B1 and this one is C1 and this one is O1. Okay, like this we got A1, B1, C1, D1. Now we go for A, B, C, D. <coughs> Join start with the A. So this is where D we are getting and this here we can get the A. Okay. And then here <coughs> B and C. You can extend it and come to naming this is A and this is D and this is B and this is C. So if you have a confusion, you can keep the namings in a proper position so now itself. So we can avoid it while uh, drawing we can avoid the confusions. Okay, this is a uh, all the namings we got and uh, the top center that is wo wo we have to get it so uh, <coughs> this will be wo okay now go to visible line so now we need to make the visible edges and hidden edges so uh, here uh, as usual we have to see from the top which face we are getting first that is a dash b dash c dash we are getting so a b c d we need to make it visible so a to b b to c c to d and back to a and next we will finish the border with the visible line so after d we are getting d1 is the endmost you can join up to that and a1 is the endmost you can join up to a you can join it and next check the endmost point that is B1 C1 is there that means B1 dash C1 dash so here B1 C1 should be make hidden so you can uh, delete this line and go to the line hidden line and thickness check it it should point by and now C1 to B1 make it hidden now check it any edges are left out A B C D finished A1 B1 C1 finished A2 A1 B2 B1 C2 C1 D2 D1 all the edges are finished and the center so you can just trim this portion you can draw go to the line center line from O2 O1 you have to join the center second step also completed and uh, we will go to the last step so last step we have to check the VP inclination so what is inclined to VP? So it is resting on HP, uh, one of its edges, which is inclined to VP 30 degree. That means here the one edge is resting, 
that edge is inclined to vp so you see the resting edge is what b1 c1 dash that means here b1 c1 is inclined to vp how much 30 degree so we can draw first 30 degree line can give minus 30 can show the angle by using angle command now on this 30 degree resting edge that is b1 c1 should be placed so we can use the move option switch on the copy hold the control uh, select all the edges including center hidden edges visible edges everything you can select it and now we need to pick from c1 or b1 any one point because b1 c1 should be on this line so that's why you can take any one point i will take it c1 as a starting point you can pick it and you can place it on the 30 degree line and next go to rotate same way hold the control select all the edges and now already this c1 is on the 30 degree line make it fixed point and this b1 rotating point and make sure it should become on that 30 degree line and next we can move the namings respectively c1 p1 this is c and this one is b and then this is a uh, d and this one is a and uh, this one is a uh, d1 and this one is a1 and then o1 and o to get final front view we need to draw the position line from each corners and uh, in that part we will start one by one first we will get the uh, base that is a dash a1 dash b1 dash d1 dash c1 dash we will get those points and then we will get the a b c a dash b dash c dash and then we will finish it off you can start with the a1 so here a1 where is a1 dash so a1 dash is on this point so you can draw the line up to this okay this is a1 dash then uh, we can go to the b1 dash see here don't get confused here a1 b1 we are checking here a is there so because uh, all the problems this is uh, the first time this is overlapping this first point it is coming so that's why don't get confused here check the namings properly that's why i told each step we need to do the naming and then it will be easy we can avoid the confusion here b1 dash where is a b1 dash this is on the xy line so you can drop to here and then c1 so this c1 dash that is also on the xy line you can drop to here and then d1 d1 dash d1 dash is on the top line you can join it here and then center o1 so we are getting here so you can get the o1 okay uh, you can name it here itself afterwards also you can name uh, but i will just check name each step this is a1 dash and this one is a b1 dash and then c1 dash and then d1 dash and then this is o1 dash okay Likewise, we will get the top face also. We can start with a. This is a. So a dash is at the top line, the topmost here. So we can get the a dash, and then b dash. So here we are getting b dash. Can get it, and then c dash. That is also on the same line. You can get the c dash here, and then d dash. This is also on the top. So we got all and now the last center O dash and now we can uh, name these points so this is uh, A dash B dash C dash D dash and then O dash okay this is a dash, this is c dash. Now to get the final view visible and hidden lines. So we know the technique, always we need to check from the bottom. So which face comes first, we have to make that face visible. Here the face is, we are getting a1, b1, c1, d1. That is the face we are getting first. That's why we need to join a1 dash to b1 dash to c1 dash to d1 dash back to a dash this one we need to make it visible and next so check the first corner what we are getting we are getting a1 dash that means a1 dash to a dash will be visible so here a1 dash to a dash will be visible and next when we join remaining corners when the line comes outside this uh, square frame 
will be visible if it come inside will be done so i will uh, show you d1 when i am joining d1 dash to d dash it is coming outside it is not coming inside so this is also visible and finish this border and now we will go to the b1 b1 dash to b dash that is also coming outside not the inside so that this one also visible you can join it with the visible line and the border and now last when i am going c1 that is coming inside so we need to make it hidden line go to line hidden line and the thickness 0.5 and you can join up to c and then uh, which is the endmost point that is c so whatever the line comes that c c dash will be done that is uh, c dash to d dash and then uh, c dash to b dash that one you can uh, trim it this line and it will be easy as it will be clearly visible when the line is overlapping we can't uh, differentiate the visible line so that's why i trim that lines after that you can join this b c1 c dash to b dash like this we need to make it all the hidden and visible edges and the last center line we can go to center o dash to o1 dash center line okay this is all uh, completed and uh, before taking the print out we need to check the namings whether the namings are uh, properly placed or it is any overlapping with any lines and all so we need to keep it away from it and it should be clearly visible then only the drawing will look nice okay everything is okay here see is overlapping so we keep the c outside okay and this one also okay now all the conditions satisfied dimensions are shown the angle shown and here everything is complete okay